Welcome back to The Wolf and the Melody. I am your host, Tommy, a guy on a journey to react to music that I've never heard. Now, I have heard this song, Anawana by Hylong, but this is the live version. Um, Lindane. So, yeah, I love this band. Hylong has been very instrumental to the past couple months of my life and I don't know in what way <laughs> I don't know how to describe the past couple months you know I might do a video I might do the video like just talking about what these past couple months have been like on a deep level like a spiritual soul level because um there's been a lot of stuff going on that I don't understand and I want to understand I feel things going on inside of me. I feel things going on around me. Like, duh, that's always happening. But I'm experiencing things I've never experienced before. So, I don't know. But I love this band. I, they're not a band, dude. Like, they are. It's like a movement. It's, it's uh, They're incredible. They're incredible. And so I'm excited to watch this with you. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a part of this community. You all introduced this this music to me. I don't know if I ever would have listened to it if it wasn't for y'all. I'm I'm very grateful. So hi long Anawana. Live at the Hammersmith. When that dropped right in the beginning, it, I felt just everything in my, my forehead, like heightened, like that bass, that boom, I just felt something like hit me right in the face, dude. Like what the flip?
I'm... I'm in like a really weird place in life. And this is like really hard for me to talk about because in my brain, it's hard for me to talk about things that like don't make sense. I try to be very logical and to make sense of everything. And this doesn't make sense. I was somebody who was taught to believe one thing. Now, before we continue this, this is not a video to bash, diminish, put down what anyone believes. I am very respectful to your heart and to what you believe. I don't tell people to follow what I believe. I don't tell them to listen. I'm simply just, I'm going to share my heart about my story and where I'm at. So please know that I respect you, whatever it is that you believe I do. And I don't mean any, I don't mean any to be rude or anything or to insult um, I was taught to believe one thing. I was raised in a Christian home and I've said, I've shared little bits of this, but like my parents weren't rough about it. Um, they never really forced it on me. They would, my, my parents were very hot and cold. Uh, it was like, no, you can't listen to heavy music, but you can watch Terminator two when you're eight years old. Like it makes no sense. Right. Um, but prior to being raised in a household that primarily focuses on the Christian faith, I had a sensitivity to, we'll just say the spirit. I've had a sensitivity to things before anybody ever told me. Um, I used to like feel things in my heart and I would I would start crying not out of sadness but I would be overwhelmed by I felt I felt something I felt something that was not seen and I just assumed I just it must be you know the God Christian God um and then and that was something that no one had to tell me. I never had anybody like stand in my face and be like, you got to believe this. Like I was right. Okay. I was raised in a Christian home. I didn't have my parents shove it down my throat, but we were, I was raised like we believe in God. Um, but like, it wasn't necessarily like, like Tommy, you better believe this. Like it wasn't like that from my family, if that makes sense. Okay. I, I, um, but we were taught like this is the right way. So anyway, um, you fast forward. I just knew something was real. I knew that there was some spirit. There was something that was real. Something is real. Um, and no one can take that from me. I, I've ha I have experienced things that have happened to me. I can't explain. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if, if somebody believes it or not. Like it happened to me and I've seen it and I, it's part of my story. You know what I mean? And, um, when my, when my dad died, I, a lot of, I, instead of being like, I won't, I can't believe in God. It was more like, I know you're real, but you suck and I'm going to do everything that you hate the Christian God. And so I focused on everything that was anti Christian God, anti Jesus. And, uh, I hated him. I hated him so much. Um, and that I think started to grow into this, uh,
Okay, I'm going to say something. I've met a lot of very kind people that are Christians. I've met a lot of really good people that believe in God, believe in Jesus. They have showed me so much kindness. On the other hand, I have met people It, to somebody who was young and impressionable, um, a little bit about me, I I don't like to do anything wrong. <laughs> I like to know that I'm 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 in the right. I'd like to know what is right, what is wrong, and I like to um, I don't go out of my way to do the wrong thing, wrong thing. So after my dad died and I went on this like just personal vendetta against the church and everything, it went on for years. And then I had something happen to me that I cannot explain that pointed me to this place that God loves me, that God loves me. And I started this walk into the Christian faith. And, um, but I, and I was very, uh, I was hungry because I'm a very intimate person. I want to, I want to love and I want to know what love is. I want to, I want to experience intimacy and, and not in this carnal kind of like how society views intimacy it's like but you know what i'm talking about you know uh a father or 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 somebody will we'll use the example of like a son and a father like i want to know i want to know my dad i want to i want to be close i want to know his heart i want i want him to be proud of me i want i want to do the right things i want him to be happy with me I have that kind of, and so when I started to walk down this path of like the Christian faith, I was very uh, impressionable to religious leaders, and I believed a lot of shit. I believed a lot of shit, and again, this is not a bash on, I met Christian leaders that were great people, I met some that were just, (laughs) and um. Anyway, I've been kind of walking that path of Christianity since I was about 18. And over the past couple years, this is where, this is what I tell people. And I don't mean to make this a long winded video. I'm just trying to, I'm, this is almost like healing for me because I, I'm trying to find myself and I, I see myself, I see where I want to go. It's getting there. And so like, I'm, I'm kind of like just talking, I'm, I'm sharing this thing about, about that's going on in my, in my soul. And it just so happens to be on here. <laughs> um, These past couple of years, I've been, I, I I tell people when I describe where I'm at, I'm at a crossroads of, to this part of the path, to the left, I see this wooden box that has been hammered together, and it's full of people, full of doctrine, full of uh, 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 their... All the things that they think is right, all the thing, all the things that they think is spirit, all the things that they, it just all this man-made construct, all their bullshit, packed into a box, right? This is what I see, but then I look at this part of the path, 
and I see, and this is, this is personal to me. This is what I see in my heart when I think about where I'm at. I see a forest. And I see a path that leads into this little forest. And there's like a fog around it. The forest is a mystery. The forest, in my heart, in my mind, in my soul, that's where God is. I didn't say Christian God. I didn't say God. And I have been trying to pull away from all this man, all this stuff, people telling me what is right, what is wrong. This is life. Blah, 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 blah. Because at a young age, I have felt drawn to the forest. It's so funny, dude. It's funny that that's what I see when I think about God. Um, I can be depressed and walk outside. And see the beauty of the forest. And it lifts my spirits. It's, I can walk and feel the crunching of leaves under my feet. I can feel the dirt under my feet when I walk on a path. Touching like the trees and feeling the bark on my skin. Like there is something. And that has been in me my whole my whole life i'm drawn very much to natural just and i'm in a place y'all i'm in a place of life and it's kind of weird because like i'm putting this on here and obviously this is going on youtube and it's not so much like hey can somebody help me that's not what i'm saying it's like but i believe i'm not alone and this this stuff that has been going on in, in my life has been kind of like in the background. When I started this YouTube channel and I started doing music with you all and, and listening to music, this literally took that little that little thing that I've had hidden on the shelf, right? Even though like I'm walking this path, there's this little thing in my mind that says there's something, there's something here. There's like a, and I kind of just keep it in the back. When I started this channel that went straight to the forefront of my mind and now it's hanging wide open and I'm in a very interesting place. I have things happening. I cannot explain. Good things. Weird things. <laughs> and it all started. It really blew up in my soul when we started this YouTube channel. And hearing this band and, and other music like this has done something like. I just can't explain it, dude. Some of y'all have been like really great with me. Some of y'all have said things like you've seen things and I'm like how like yeah i know i'm I'm very like i i have a lot of expression i'm very like, passionate and but like there's some things that have been said that I'm like there's no way you know what i mean i i don't know y'all like this this stuff does this to me <laughs> this was amazing like this wasn't just a song like this was an experience and i don't mean to talk about me i know that this is a reaction to high lung It's incredible. I just like I I know that there's something I know there's something for my life. Like I know like I've always believed that I was alive that I'm alive for a purpose. And there's been so many things that I've tried to squander. That that little boy. That little boy inside of me. That believes in something magical. That believes in something.
Ja. I am thankful. I'm thankful that I have this place to just be able to talk and share my heart. Y'all, thank you for taking out. And if you made it this far into the video, kudos to you. <laughs> this was an incredible song. Incredible live. My God, I, I hate that I wasn't able to see him this year. Every time that I've planned to go to a concert, like for example, uh, tomorrow is uh, Amaranth, Nanowar. Like my job canceled my time off. And um, I cannot, I'm not in a position where I can be like, well, screw you. I, I can't. That stuff has just gotten in the way of me being able to go and see the, <laughs> it's just annoying. But y'all, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a part of this community. Thank you for letting me just talk and air my thoughts out. Um, I just want y'all to know you're safe here. No matter where you're at in life, what you may think or what you may believe. As, as long as you're kind and respectful and not a douchebag, you're safe here. All right, keep your head up. Keep going. I know that I'm not the only one in a weird place in life, but we're going to get there. We got amazing things in front of us. So let's keep going. Love you guys.